Okay, looking pretty skinny. God damn. <laughs> Became jacked pretty damn quickly. They never get three months? Is that a three month transformation? There's no way you can build that much muscle in three months naturally. How many shots of him jiggling his belly are we gonna have to sit through before the motivating part starts? <laughs> Fitness is hard. And no matter how determined I am at the beginning, I always have moments where I no longer feel motivated, where I just feel stuck, you know, I'm just down in the dumps. And sometimes I just need something to motivate me. And so that's what this video is all about. We're going to be looking at some incredible fitness transformations to help motivate us to stick to our diets and our fitness regimens. So if that seems like the sort of thing that you're interested in and you need, then stay tuned. Okay, looking pretty skinny. God damn. <laughs> Became jacked pretty damn quickly. They never give time frames on this. That's kind of annoying. Okay. Yeah. Just a lot of pictures of him not having loosed any weight yet. And then damn. Look at that. That was a huge transformation. That is massive. That is a huge difference. Okay, got a new guy now. He's a hairy guy. This <laughs> he's got the Wolverine look going on. So we're just watching this guy morph into <laughs> into the actual Wolverine. Okay, so this guy was pretty ripped to begin with. And now he has just become an absolute unit. It just, I mean, that is just ridiculous. Yeah, so this is another one that's... Some of these just seem a little too hard to believe. Three months? Is that a three month transformation? One thing I'm noticing with a lot of these, these uh, TikToks is that the guys look absolutely incredible by the end of it. But how legit are these really? I mean, to get a look like that in three months is absolutely ridiculous. There's no way you can build that much muscle in three months naturally. Like, either he didn't do it in three months and he just said that he did, or he's taking something. A lot of these TikToks are probably like that, really. Like, a lot of guys are doing this in maybe like two years over that time frame, and then they just say they did it in three months or nine months or whatever, just to get the views. Which makes it a lot less motivating, if you ask me. So yeah, uh, I don't think I'm gonna, I think I'll stay from the TikTok motivational videos now. Try to go for something a bit more legit. Okay, so the first video we're gonna be looking at is from the YouTube channel, Goal Guys. This guy is trying to transform his body in just a hundred days. So this is how he looked when he began. And this is how he looked at the end of the 100 days. Moment of truth. <sighs> Sheesh. Holy smokes. Bro, you are lean. I have never been this lean before. Like Goodness gracious. I don't know why he's acting like he hasn't taken his shirt off over the last, like, a hundred days. Like, how is this a shock to him? He hasn't seen his body before today. Great results, though. He looks incredible. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think it worked. <laughs> I lost 10 pounds of fat during this recomp and gained a little less than 2 pounds of muscle, bringing my total body fat percentage down into the 12-14% to 14 range. That might be the leanest I've ever been, at least since I was in college. So this guy lost a ton of weight in a hundred days, looks incredible by the end of it. And the way he did it is that he put himself in a calorie deficit, but only a small calorie deficit. So he went a little bit below what he needed to maintain, and he had a lot of protein. He had one gram of protein for every pound of body weight, I think he said, doing a, a HIIT workout, which is a high intensity interval workout. So you do very intense training, then you take a rest for like a certain period of time, like 10 to 40 seconds. Then you do very intense, then you rest again, you get very intense, you rest again. And that's one of the most effective forms of cardio for weight loss. That's what a lot of studies have found anyway. So that's what he did. And uh, he kept that up regularly. He meal prepped, made his meals in advance. So he was less tempted to eat unhealthily, break his diet. After 100 days, he saw results. So that strategy works. That could be a straight uh, that could be a great strategy for anybody watching. It could be a great strategy for me, something to think about. 
So yeah, that's a great transformation and an interesting way of going about it. Okay, this next video is from the YouTuber Michael Go. Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Michael and welcome to the channel. The time has come and it's the official start of the 90 days. Thank you so much for everybody joining me and supporting me. 90 days ago, I decided to get my life back on track. He's a big guy. Fitness and nutrition used to be a priority in my life. This is how I, I lived a healthy lifestyle <laughs> and I just had this incredible drive for life. A while back, I lost sight of my priorities and I lost my drive for life. I wasn't exercising, I wasn't watching what I was eating, I was eating junk food and I wasn't living a good lifestyle. I couldn't fit into my clothes. I wasn't happy with the way I looked. I'm only short of him jiggling his belly. Are we going to have to sit for Before the motivating part starts. <laughs> Just some sad music with him jiggling. I let myself go. And this was the start of my 90 day weight loss. So many angles. Why do we need this many angles? This was my journey to get my life and passion back. <laughs> this is ridiculous. How long did he spend jiggling his belly on camera? He had to spend like... 10 minutes doing that before he edited it down to that part. <laughs> but alright, we we hadn't started now. We'll get into the real part. I hate to say it, but there's no alarm going off on that phone. <laughs> I don't know why people fake these random beginnings of their day. <laughs> there was no alarm app even going off on his phone. He just tapped it. Then the sound effect he put on in post went off. <laughs> it's not a big deal, but why? <laughs> What's the point? That means that I lost 16.5 kgs in the 90 days, which is not bad. It's really good. I went for a slower approach this time because last time when I lost the 30 kgs, I feel like I lost way too much weight, way too fast. And I feel like because of the approach that I did now, I'm so happy with that because I kept as much muscle as I could. I even think I gained some muscle on the 90 days. And this was a healthier approach. I was still able to eat good food. I mean, I had pizza. I had sushi because you can eat that stuff, still live a balanced lifestyle and lose weight like I showed you guys now. Yeah, 18 kilograms in 90 days is way more reasonable than a lot of the transformations that we'll see. This is a realistic goal. This is something that we could actually do as people who aren't taking steroids or testosterone. Yeah, that's, and that's incredible. It still takes a lot of hard work, but yeah, that's something that you can do in 90 days. That is, that is legitimate. All right, he's looking pretty good. Yeah, he's looking much better. Way leaner, clearly got some muscle mass. This is, a, yeah, it's healthy body weight. He's not like super lean, but he's, he's in good shape. Is that really the barbell he uses? So not dumbbell on a barbell. Is that? I've never seen anyone in my life use a rusty old dumbbell like that. <laughs> That's like one from an old cartoon you would see. Who uses a dumbbell like that? <laughs> then he's got two modern dumbbells right on the sofa. Why is he not using those? Does he? He must just use that for the video, right? It just looks. It's badass. It's manly. 
right? <laughs> okay, so Mr. Jiggle lost a lot of weight. He lost 16, 18 kilograms uh, over 90 days, which is a great amount of weight to lose in 90 days. He didn't really tell us much about how he did it. Um, he showed us some footage of him running and lifting those rusty old dumbbells. No information about his diet other than that he had pizza and sushi and you could have that and still succeed, which, yeah, that's true, but would have been nice to hear what else you had other than the pizza and the sushi. <laughs> a few tips for how we can uh, get the same results would have been nice. But, uh, yeah, I'm. what I'm guessing is that he followed the routine of uh, running, uh, dumbbell workouts, rusty dumbbell workouts, and uh, 30 minutes of belly jiggling every morning. You do that. If you shake your belly enough, you will burn calories. <laughs> it is technically an exercise. Literally, shake off the weight. You just shake it off. You do that long enough, you're going to lose some weight. That's a workout. But yeah, so that's strategy number two, I guess. Uh, dumbbells that are rusty, pizza, sushi, and uh, belly jiggling. All right, next, move on to the next one. All right, and the final one is from Chilling with Chase. So for 10 years, this guy struggled with his weight. He then got really into bodybuilding and put on a lot of muscle, but he still had trouble keeping fat off. Then uh, he gets a new job in a new state uh, and just has to work really long hours and can't look after his health. And so that's how he ends up in the position that he's in now. Disneyland closes down and he needs to get his act together? Is he just referring to the pandemic in general? Or does he just love Disneyland? <laughs> Is this where he worked? If he worked at Disneyland, that would make sense. Like, he lost his job. Or he might lose... Like, yeah, like, he lost his job and so he had nothing to do but look after his health. Or it's just because of the pandemic itself. He had nothing to do but look after his health. Or he just loves Disneyland. And this was the wake-up call he needed to get his life together. <laughs> like, a little confusing, but all right. The belly jiggling. <laughs> Is that him? Yeah. It's completely different. Yeah, he looks about 10 years younger than me. This looks like the first guy's son that we saw. This look, he looks like his own son. He does not look like... Uh, how old is this guy though? Yeah, it's incredible transformation. Well, how long did this take? Alright, so Disneyland guy had probably the most incredible transformation out of everyone that we saw. And also gave us the most information about how he did it. Only two minutes of his video is his transformation and 16 minutes is him explaining what the hell he did to lose all that weight, which is incredible. Because it's complete opposite of the last guy who gave us nothing but transformation and no information. This guy's giving us very little transformation and all information. So that's great. And he gave us a lot of tips. The first tip is quite obvious. Be in a calorie deficit of 500. Most of you probably know this, but you need to be 500 calories below whatever your maintenance calorie amount is in order to lose weight. And your maintenance calories are just the amount of calories you need to maintain your current weight. So you don't lose weight and you don't gain weight. Being 500 calories below that and you'll lose weight. You should lose about a pound a week. Next, he said not really to worry about macros at first. Macros are things like how much protein you're getting, how much carbohydrates you're getting. He says don't worry about that too much. Just try not to overcomplicate things in the beginning. Just make sure you're hitting your right calorie goal. Next, he said that you don't have to give up your favorite foods. 
instead of cutting them out completely, you can just cut down on them. If you normally have a whole pizza, have two slices. You can still eat pizza, you just can't have as much. But you'll lose weight. Next, he encouraged you to do lots of cardio and to lift weights. Cardio can also just mean walking, though. That's important to remember. You don't have to be killing yourself on the treadmill to be doing cardio. You can just go for a walk. That's cardio. Lifting weight is really good for losing weight because uh, muscle actually raises your metabolism and burns fat. And also, you'll look better by the end of your weight loss if you have some muscle in your frame rather than just being like a stick by the end. He recommends fasting. He only eats one meal a day, which is pretty uh, incredible. A lot of people do that. It's called OMAD. It's actually perfectly healthy, and it will help you lose weight. Like, it's an incredible way to lose weight. But uh, I, I don't really recommend it. I think most people will probably struggle with that. But if you want to go to fasting, it absolutely does work. Uh, intermittent fasting, just 8 to 16 hours, would probably be best for beginners. But like alternate day fasting, where you fast one day, and eat the next, that also works, OMAD works. Uh, fasting definitely works, so that's something to look into. And lastly, he said to drink a gallon of water a day. So you don't necessarily have to drink a gallon, but drinking water, a lot of water, will definitely help with weight loss. Drinking water raises your metabolism, it helps keep you healthy, and it just helps get through that period where you don't have as much food. So yeah, that was the last guy. He had the most incredible transformation, gives the most information, so props to him. Links to all channels will be in the description. We saw three different guys lose weight in three different ways, and we can learn from all three of them, and we can implement any of their techniques and see results. So yeah, hopefully this uh, you know, helps motivate and maybe inform you a little bit about weight loss, diet, and nutrition. Uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.